Electric Eel – The Nightmare of Amazon Predators What do you think some of the deadliest abilities that an animal can possess are? Venomous bites or stings? Maybe powerful jaws or teeth? How about camouflage and mimicry? Well, all of these have their respective place in nature as being some of the deadliest characteristics of the animal kingdom. But one such ability that's often overlooked is the electric eel's ability to conduct electricity. Today, we'll be taking a closer look at the electric eel and what makes it a nightmare for Amazonian predators. So, let's jump right into the water. History and Location well, the electric eel is a seriously cool fish that can zap you with electric shocks, but we'll get into that later. It was first described by an explorer called Carl Linnaeus back in 1766. He thought it was a type of knife fish, but later it got its own fancy name, Electrophorus. These eels mainly hang out in the Amazon River basin in South America. You can find them in rivers, swamps, and flooded forests of places like Brazil, Venezuela, Guiana, and Peru. They love the warm, oxygen-rich waters and avoid places where the conductivity is too high. Now, these electric eels live in all sorts of watery spots within the Amazon basin. They don't mind getting down and dirty, so you can find them in muddy waters, marshes, and even small tributaries. What's interesting is, these eels have been shocking people and animals for a long time. Indigenous tribes in the Amazon basin were drawn to their electrifying powers and used them to their advantage. They'd stun fish and make fishing easier, or even use the shocks for medicine and other stuff. Also, when European explorers and scientists came across these eels, they ran all sorts of experiments to understand their electric abilities. One scientist named Alessandro Volta studied them in the late 18th century and even invented the first battery, the voltaic pile, inspired by these electrifying eels. Size and Other Characteristics Moving forward, let's talk a little about their proportions and size. Electric eels are actually known for their elongated and slender bodies, which are the longest of their eel brothers and sisters. They can grow to quite impressive sizes, so let's dive into the details of their proportions and size, shall we? Electric eels have a snake-like appearance with a long cylindrical body. They possess a relatively large head that tapers down to a streamlined, muscular body. Their bodies are covered in smooth, slimy skin that aids in reducing friction as they swim through water. While their long and slender bodies allow them to move through the water with agility, making them excellent swimmers. When it comes to size, electric eels are the real giants of the electric fish world. They can reach some serious lengths. On average, electric eels measure between 6 to 8 feet. 1.8 to 2.5 meters long. However, there have been reports of electric eels measuring up to 8 to 9.8 feet, 2.5 to 3 meters long. That's like having an electric snake swimming around. Electric eels can also pack on the pounds. The larger specimens can weigh up to 44 to 66 pounds, 20 to 30 kilograms. That's one hefty eel. It's important to note, however, that the size of electric eels can vary based on their age, sex, and environmental factors, such as habitat conditions, food availability, and genetics. But here's a cool fact that's universal to all electric eels. Female electric eels tend to be larger than males. Diet Did you know that the electric eel has quite an interesting and varied diet? These electrifying creatures are all about the fish. 
They're experts at tracking down unsuspecting fish using their electric powers to their advantage. They zap out weak electric pulses and feel the disturbances caused by nearby fish. Once they find their prey, they shock them with high-voltage electricity, paralyzing them and making it easy to chow down. But wait, there's more. Electric eels aren't just about fish, they're opportunistic eaters, so they'll snack on invertebrates like shrimp, crabs, and other aquatic critters that cross their path. They're not too picky of an eater. And sometimes, when they're feeling a little adventurous, electric eels might even have a taste for amphibians and reptiles. So frogs, tadpoles, lizards, and even snakes had better watch out when they're near the water. And get this, on rare occasions, electric eels have been known to chow down on small mammals too. If a mouse, rat, or any other small critter gets too close to the water, it might just become an electric eel's unexpected snack. Oh, and here's a pretty interesting fact. Electric eels aren't shy about being scavengers. They'll totally dig into dead animals that are already rotting away under the water. Waste not want not, right? Electrophysiology Let's actually talk about how these electric eels make it happen. Bear with me since we're about to dive into some real sciencey stuff. Well, electric eels possess specialized electric organs that are responsible for generating the electric shocks they produce. These organs make up approximately 80% of their body length and are made up of thousands of specialized cells called electrocytes. You'll be hearing a lot of the word electro. Now, what are electrocytes? You might be asking. Well, electrocytes are muscle-like cells that have been modified to generate and control electric impulses. These cells are stacked in series, like batteries, creating long electrogenic columns within the electric organs. Each electrocyte has a positive pole at the head and a negative pole at the tail end. When an electric eel wants to deliver a shock, it sends a command signal from the brain to the electric organs. This triggers the simultaneous discharge of the electrocytes, and the electric impulses travel along the electrogenic columns, resulting in a synchronized and powerful zap. These electric shocks produced by electric eels can be quite potent, actually. While the exact voltage can vary, it can reach levels of up to 600 volts. The shocks are typically delivered in short pulses, with each pulse lasting just a few milliseconds. For some frame of reference, some human deaths have been reported from as little as 42 volts. This means that an electric eel has a very high chance of not only paralyzing you, but also making you its lunch. Anyway, Electric eels can also adjust the frequency and intensity of their electric discharges depending on the situation. When hunting or defending themselves, they often deliver a series of high-frequency discharges to stun or immobilize their prey or potential threats. In contrast, during social interactions or communication with other electric eels, they may use lower-frequency discharges. Pretty cool, right? The electric eel's electric organs not only allow them to produce shocks, but also play a role in their sensory perception. As we mentioned when we were discussing the electric eel's diet, by emitting weak electric fields, they can create an electric image of their surroundings. They can detect the disturbances caused by nearby objects or prey through changes in their electric field. This allows them to locate and track prey navigate their environment, and even communicate with other electric eels. Here's a cool fact that was recently discovered in 2021 about the electric eel. It turns out that this eel actually hunts in packs, like wolves or orcas. What makes the electric eel a nightmare? 
So finally, with all that knowledge in our heads, let's discuss what makes the electric eel so terrifying for predators in the Amazon. And to start us off with that, I want you to imagine a scenario. In the murky waters of the Amazon, a black caiman, a formidable predator in its own right, prowls near the shore, scanning the water's surface for an opportunity to snatch an unsuspecting fish. Unbeknownst to the caiman, a stealthy electric eel lurks nearby, blending seamlessly into its surroundings. As the caiman approaches, sensing movement and vibrations in the water, it positions itself for a lightning-fast strike. Little does it know that the electric eel has detected its presence through its electric sense. Sensing the caiman's proximity, the electric eel launches its attack. It rapidly discharges a series of high-voltage electric shocks, unleashing its electric power into the water. The shocks travel through the water, creating a powerful electric field. The caiman, caught off guard by the sudden surge of electricity coursing through the water, finds itself in a dangerous situation. Its muscular body, once ready for an attack, is now vulnerable to the overwhelming electric current. As the electric shocks continue to resonate through the water, the caiman's muscles begin to spasm involuntarily. The electric current disrupts the normal function of its nervous system, rendering the caiman temporarily paralyzed. Unable to move or defend itself, the caiman becomes an easy target for the electric eel. Sensing its prey's vulnerability, the eel swiftly moves in, delivering the final powerful electric shock directly to the immobilized caiman. The caiman's body, unable to withstand the intense electric assault, succumbs to the overwhelming force. The electric eel has successfully electrocuted its would-be predator, securing its own safety and a potential meal. This is just one possible scenario in which all of the weapons of the electric eel would come into use to take down some of its own predators. And that's why it's considered a nightmare for the Amazonian animals. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay up to date on videos like this. See you next time.